Hello friends, this is Durga from IIT University, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time, we are actually trying to execute pig action in Uzi, uh, defining Uzi workflow. We have already tested a pig script, and this is very important for both um, uh, learning Uzi as well as uh, giving the CCP data engineer certification, where Uzi is emphasized quite a bit. Again, here, I am sharing my screen to, to explain where we are now and how we will be, uh, what will be covered as part of this video, and then we will get into the actual topic. So already, as part of the previous video in this playlist, we have developed a pig script. The pig script looks like this. OK, if you go into here, the pig script look like this. OK, and now we have to integrate this as part of the Uzi workflow and make sure that it behaves exactly the same way um, as we uh, we run we uh, as as it has behaved when we actually ran the script uh, as part of the last video. So it has to read the data from orders table uh, in HDFS and then get the count by order status and write the count by order status into HDFS again into this path. Okay. So while developing the Woody workflow, you have to keep two things in mind. One is job dot properties. And second one is uh, workflow.xml. And as part of this video, we will focus on um, job dot properties. We, we will actually parameterize all the important uh, um, uh, important information, uh, which will be passed to workflow.xml uh, so that it works as expected. OK? So let's start with job dot properties. And here, I want to start with so before getting into this, I will just show you the existing uh, job dot properties in examples. But you should be able to write without referring to examples. In case in the certification, if they don't provide the examples, you should still you should be confident enough to actually write the pick scripts. Uh, sorry, uh, write the Woody workflows. So examples apps, big, so yeah, apps big and then job dot properties. Here you can see there is a name node uh, parameter. You can name it with any name, but the same name has to be used as part of the workflow.xml while replacing the parameter uh, parameters with the values defined uh, for these parameter names. Okay, So name node, job tracker, queue name, uh, examples root, and whatever they are required, you need to have those. And these two are mandatory. The rest of the stuff are not mandatory. You can actually. Uh, have hard coded values in workflow.xml, but uzi dot use dot systemly path and uzi dot wf dot application path are the parameters which uh, you need to pass with appropriate values. For application path, we have to give the location of our application in HDFS. Okay, so now let us start developing similar uh, file uh, for our demonstration. Uh, where we will be integrating pig script with uzi so vi job dot properties is the file name or you can give any name this file has to be passed as part of config while running uzi uh, workflows okay first we will be taking care of job dot properties in this we will define name node and to get the name node you need to understand you need to know where our name node is and one of the ways you can um, know as at the time of giving the certification is by looking into the parameter files okay shell new tab with basic settings basic and here i'm i'm logging into cluster okay and here you can see cat or view slash etc slash hadoop slash course dot x sorry cons so this is the location where you will find all the parameter files and here you can see course dot xml this is the path and uh, sorry this is the value you should give for the name node okay and then job tracker you can give any name here i will give it as resource manager equal to for that you have to go to 
yam site.xml file okay and here you have to go to resource manager address and this is the value you need to give and these values will be replaced in the workflow.xml workflow.xml will have parameters with these names and the values will be replaced at runtime okay so now we have given name node and resource manager and then there are a couple of mandatory parameters such as uzi dot use dot system dot lip path so what is what this is you have to set to true set it to true so if you set it to true it will check for all the uzi libraries under hadoop ss hyphen ls uh, user uzi so this is the directory and if you hit enter it will show the details about um, all the jar files or libraries which are already copied while setting up the uzi you don't need to worry about this as developer this is a one time activity and this should be set up by the time you get the access and as part of the certification i, I hope they will provide all the libraries in this and to use these libraries you have to say uzi.use.system.libpath equal to equal to true and then you say uzi.wf.application.path so this this is nothing but um, where our application is whatever application we are trying to deploy we have to specify this without specifying this it uh, does not know where our workflow.xml file is and and uh, the woozy job will not be uh, su uh, succeeded so as part of the configuration this is the most important parameter to tell where is your um, workflow.xml these ones are just variables which are we are actually defining our parameters which we are actually defining as part of the job dot properties which will be replaced while uh, 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 running the uzi workflow okay here this is the most important path where we have to tell uh, the location of our application and i want to store in this location so first we can say dollar name node so we have to give fully qualified path including this one then slash user slash whatever location you want to copy this file to so already the name node uh, parameter is defined so hence we can actually start using the parameters in the same job dot properties file so name node will be replaced with uh, with this value okay and then slash user there is a user defined parameter also called wf dot user okay that we can actually uh cat examples apps pig job dot properties here you can see actually it's dollar user dot name not wf dot user okay user name so if it didn't if it did not work then we have to troubleshoot and then we we might have to hard code the value so in this case i am running as training 8634 os user hence it will replace so this is the implicit parameter name which uh, which uzi actually resolves into the os user name who is trying to run these workflows so in this case this will be replaced with training 8634 and i want to have it in the pick demo location i i want to have the job dot properties and workflow.xml especially the workflow.xml and this is how uzi will know where your XML file is uh, to execute the workflow. Okay, so this is the path. And at runtime, this will be replaced with this one. So I'm just showing how it will look like at, at runtime. You can even hard code like this, signing 8634. And once we develop the job.properties and workflow.xml, uh, we will copy those two files into this location okay that that is the purpose of uh, this parameter very very important parameter if you fail, if you don't understand the logic here then it it is very tough to uh, get uh, get it working okay and that especially at the time of certification it can add a lot of stress to you so now job dot properties is defined on top of this these four things i also want to define 
the input path and output path uh, which will be used as part of our workflow.xml. So here I will say input dir for input path and the input path for will be slash user dollar user dot name and then scoop import slash orders. Okay, so this is the input directory and output directory will be slash users slash dollar username big demo orders. Okay, so this is the output directory and uh, previous one is the input directory. And if you remember the script, we are actually reading data from here. But while writing, when we actually uh, run this workflow, we will be writing to this directory. Okay, so this is how you should uh, you should leverage the parameters which will be reusable uh, as part of the workflow.xml like this. And most importantly, in this file, you have to define uzi.ws.application.path to the location where we will be copying the workflow.xml file. Okay. That being said, um, that's it for this video. So far, we have developed a big script, and then we have defined job dot properties. As part of the next video, we will see how to actually define the workflow.xml, and probably another video we will take care of executing the script. That being said, I hope you are enjoying the content on the channel. Um, if you like this video, please click on the like button. If you want to provide the feedback, please um, uh, use the comment section of the video. If you want to discuss further about big data uh, certifications, please join my LinkedIn groups called ITVersity hyphen big data or ITVersity hyphen certifications. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. And also, if you are aware of my website, www.itversity.com, please visit. And also, if you like the content, please start contributing using donate button on my website. And my website name is www.itversity.com. OK, let me show you the layout of my website so this is how it will look like on almost all the pages you have this donate with paypal and you can actually do start contributing for my efforts so that i can come up with more and more content like this over time um, where it university will be a one-stop shop to learn any technology in it okay let me show my face and say bye to you okay i think you you do not see my website so I'm showing it again, share, and, and this is my website, and this is the donate button. OK, now I stopped sharing and going back here. Bye.